Hello, Teacher Mary here. We're ready for core challenge number five, my family. So we're gonna talk a little bit about my family, but first I wanna review our memory verses. Remember we did them, I think on video one. Let's do this one first. Since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. 1 John 4, 11. Let's do that again. Since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. 1 John 4, 11. This is the second one. Love never fails. 1 Corinthians 3, 8. Say it with me. Love never fails. 1 Corinthians 3, 13, 8. And this is the last one. God is love. 1 John 4, 16. Say it with me. God is love. 1 John 4, 16. All right, let's get into our core challenge number five. One of my favorite things that I'm most thankful to God for is my family. So I have a pretty big family. I have five brothers and sisters, and then there's me. So that makes how many kids in our family? Six. Good. Good counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm the youngest of the six. So... I'm the baby. I'm the baby of the family. So let's think about is one of the commandments that God gave Moses and the children of Israel. Let's think about that story for a minute. Does one of them talk about the family in any way? Does it say mother and father anywhere? Hmm. Let's put our thinking caps on. Exodus 20, verse 12, I think, is the fifth commandment. And it says, Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the earth, which the Lord th your God giveth you. That was a long time ago when Moses was with the children of Israel. Do you think that's still important today? that we honor our mother and father? Hmm, that's something to think about, isn't it? You know, there's special things we do in families sometimes where we have special things that we do when we're together. Maybe it's special foods that we like to share together. Maybe it's uh, a special game we like to play together. You know, um, let's think about it. Uh, think for a minute about what makes your family special. Where do you live? Who lives with you? Uh, do you have any family traditions? Do you do holidays, family holidays in a special kind of way? Or family worship in a special kind of way? I'm going to read from the Bible in Deuteronomy. Now, who can tell me Deuteronomy? Is that the Old Testament or the New Testament? Let's see. Old Testament. Creation. The story of the children of Israel in the desert. Um, tells us about the tabernacle then in the, in the desert. It tells us about um, the story of David and Goliath, those kind of things. Uh, Daniel in the lion's den, that sort of thing. So where, oh, New Testament is um, the story of Jesus' life and his ministry and his death and resurrection. So where's Deuteronomy, Old Testament or New Testament? Old Testament, Old Testament. Deuteronomy is all about the law, right? So in Deuteronomy 6, I'm going to read 4 
through verse 9. So listen, and we'll see if you can hear what the commands are that God is giving. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God. The Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. And with all your soul and with all your strength. These commands that I give you today are to be upon your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them as you sit at home and when you walk along the road and when you lie down and when you get up and tie them as symbols around your hands and bind them to your foreheads. Write them in your door frames of your houses and on your gates. Now, there were a lot of instructions there. Love your God with all your heart, okay? With all your soul and with all your strength. Does that mean just a little bit or all of it? Probably all of it, okay? These commands I give you today upon your hearts, uh, impress them on your children so they weren't just supposed to keep them for themselves they were supposed to teach them to their children do your mom and dad teach you things I'm sure they do what kinds of things put your coat on when it's cold don't walk in the puddle you'll get your shoes wet put your seatbelt on and other things too maybe about reading God's Word and prayer and things like that so they were supposed to impress them upon their children and talk about them when they were sitting at home and when they were walking along the road. Hmm. So when mom and dad are really busy and you're riding in the car, do you ever have a conversation with them if they're just driving and you're, you know, just chit-chatting and talking? Maybe about some serious stuff too. That's how the Israelites were to teach their children every day in everything they were doing when you lie down and when you get up so at night time and in the morning and then they were supposed to tie them as symbols on their hands and bind them to their foreheads what do you think that meant what do you do with your hands everything that you do when you write when you make food when you build a puzzle um, all of that, when you work hard with mom and dad, all of that's with your hands, isn't it? So in everything they did with their hands, they were supposed to honor God. And what does it mean to tie it to your forehead? Hmm. Hmm. What does that mean? They would tie it to their forehead. In their thoughts, God would always be present. So it says, uh, write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. And so here we have a picture or a, a mezuzah that somebody built for me. And inside is a little Bible scroll that has the Shema on it, which is what we started with. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is, the Lord is one. And they put this on the doors of their houses. And so every time they would go past the doorpost, they would touch it with their hand and touch their hand to their lips and kiss it. So that they would remember as they came and went from their homes, how important it was to impress God's promises, his commandments unto their children and teach them all about those kind of things. It's very important. So this was a physical symbol of how they could do that. So is there something that your family does? Some kind of tradition that they do that's important like that, that your parents may want you to remember always? Those kind of things. It may be about remembering God. It may be about who your family is and where they came from maybe all kinds of things so I'm going to show you something here 
This is a family banner. So I want you to see this. Let's see if we can see it. I'm going to read it for you. Jesus is king. And you see the rainbow. What does the rainbow represent? God's promises. And then there's American flag, an American flag. And it says underneath, Dad likes softball. I like to ride my bike. Mom likes sewing. Baby likes to eat apples. Brother likes to build Legos. Sister likes to draw pictures. So they did something in this banner about their family belief and the country they live in and who is king in their family. Jesus is king. And then something about each one of them in the family. That's pretty cool. Now I want you to see one that I did as a sample. You see my name down here, Peters. That's my last name. And that's where all the flowers are growing up out of there. And we have sunshine, and we have clouds, and we have storms. And let's see what we did with the stars. This is Lacey Star, Kristen Star, <laughs> Jesse Star, Stephen Star, and AJ Star. So Lacey, Kristen, Jesse, Stephen, AJ are my children. And sometimes we have happy times in the sunshine. Praise God for his grace, it says. And then sometimes there might be some clouds or some trouble. And it says, I know my Lord is working because I know that he is. And sometimes when there are storms, it says, I will trust you in the storm. So even though God may allow storms to come into my life, I know that I can trust him. He is always faithful. So that's kind of my idea of a family banner or flag and some of the values that I hold in my family. So I hope that was clear when I turned the phone over there for you to see that. So it is time for core challenge number five. Let's look in our treasure chest. Oh, treasure chest for the core challenge. Okay. Oh, it looks like this is a long one. Get ready. Work with your whole family to make a plan. Make a family flag or banner that shows important things your family enjoys together. Then, after it's done, I want you to make a show and tell video, kind of like I just did, about the banner or the flag that your family enjoys. It shows some of your belief systems and some things that you enjoy and like to do together. Okay, see you soon.